What's up guys? Back out in the kayak today. Got none other than Outdoor Chef Life out with me today. We're gonna just, we're just gonna try to catch something. I've been in a little dry spell for a little while. Haven't caught much. I, mean, I went out to the surf with Taku yesterday and we tried to film a little video idea that we've had. And it caught a couple fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go, boys. Oh, there's fish right here. Fish number two. It's been really slow out here, but I did manage to finesse this one up. But honestly, look at how bad that fish is messed up. I don't think I've ever seen a fish with that bad of a tail. I don't know how. I think something must have taken a bite out of it. But look at that. I hooked a crab on my line who is also tangled up in someone else's line that, I don't know, I guess they just broke off here somewhere. But lucky for this crab, wow, this crab really lucked out today because not only can I not keep him because I caught him on a hook and line, and not only that, this crab surely would have died because look at how tangled up he is in someone else's line. But I'm gonna free him up. Ooh, he does not like that. Oh, there he goes. Oh, look at ah. I got you, I got you, dude. Dude, I'm trying to save you. Oh no. All right, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> good luck. Someone's gonna catch you and they're gonna have a good meal. They're gonna have no idea what he went through to get there. Hopefully that good karma pays off for me today. And just jigged up some bait. There's a little smelt. Just jigged up some bait this morning. Got some anchovies, so that's what we're gonna start off with. Um, pretty much everything eats an anchovy. Halibut, lingcod, rockfish. I don't think there's salmon here, but it could be salmon sea bass, well you name it, they'll pretty much eat an anchovy. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, sometimes you get terrorized by the other little fish. But this is what we're gonna start off with and we'll go from there. Haven't been uploading as much because I haven't been catching much fish, so today we gotta make it happen. Got him, got him, whatever it is. Something. Not huge. What is this? Oh, a little rockfish. Alright. First game fish of the day. A little rockfish. We're trying to catch some halibut here, but unfortunately these rockfish will eat the anchovies as well. Nice little brown. Get this one back. There it goes. Look at that. Okay. That right there is a live octopus. Bit the anchovy. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use this as bait because lingcod just absolutely love octopus. So, I got a big trap rig double hook rig, however you want to call it. So I'm going to put one through the head, just like that, through the bulb of the octopus. Just like that. Just have one hook dangling. And the idea is that if a fish comes up, grabs onto one of those tentacles, this dangling hook right here will get them. Not for sure, but nothing in fishing is for sure anyway. So that's the idea. Let's drop down and see what happens. One thing to keep in mind if you're using live octopus as bait, 
Gotta make sure it's legal to keep them. Here in California, there's no size limit, so these are perfectly fine to keep. But just keep it in mind wherever you're fishing. Oh, look at that, right away. Got him. Oh yeah, good one. Right away, literally right on the drop. Feels like a decent one. I told you, Ling Cod love the octopus. It's like a candy. He hit it right on the drop too. Hit the bottom, bounced it like twice, and then boom, he hit it. There it goes. I think this is a keeper. Feels like a good one. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. Oh my god. Strong fish, for sure. Yeah, we're gonna get our bait back too. Okay, boom, there's a good fish. Always tell people, gotta get them on the stringer. Fish with fish almost learned the hard way. Boom. Okay, there we go. Nice blue lingcod on the octopus. You can see it right there. It's like all, it's actually suctioning to the head of the lingcod now. I'm trying to get revenge, but unfortunately for both of these guys, not gonna end well. But anyways, nice blue lingcod. That's really, really blue. I don't know if you can see in the mouth there. Super, oh. Look at that. He even threw up a baby octopus. He's an octopus eater for sure. Look at that, right on the live octopus. You can even see it's still moving there. But luckily, we got the bait back, so that means we are gonna drop it right back down and see if we can get another one. Look at this. He suctioned to the head of the wing cod. All right, let's get back down. They're still on top of the same reef, so there very well could be more lingcod down there. Bring it up off the bottom, a few feet. One thing with the octopus, you don't want it to get back they're really good at getting into the rocks and like suctioning onto the rocks or even like getting in between the crevice. So you want to make sure you're off the bottom so they don't snag you up. But let's see exactly how long this one is. It's probably like a 25 inch maybe. Let's see. Ooh. 20, 26 inch. Nice 26 incher. This one's really, this is one of the bluer ones that I've seen. Super, super blue. Wasn't even down there for more than like maybe 30 seconds. Nah, less. Oh, I just stuck my hand in the mouth. Whoops. Um, wasn't even down there for more than like maybe 10 seconds. I was bleeding him out and I really, I was like, man, this, this, uh, blood is really dark on this this link cod. I don't know why but then I realized oh that's octopus ink got inked all up in his mouth from that octopus the pail 
So one thing to keep in mind after you have a either rockfish, lingcod, or salmon on board, um, California regulation is one rod for any of those fish. So even if I were to change it up and try and catch halibut later in the day, I would be limited to one rod. Um, same goes if you had a salmon on board or a rockfish on board. So luckily, I probably only use one rod anyways. But just to keep in mind, once you have lingcod on board, one max. You definitely don't want to mess it up. You could get a pretty hefty fine. good one. Oh yeah, good link cut. Again, same octopus. Got him again. Seems like another good one. Oh yeah. I'm telling you guys, the live octopus. If you can get it, it's money. Just get it over the reef. If there's any link cut in the area, they won't miss it. Do it for you. Oh, it's a cab zone. Big one. Oh, dang. Look at that. Holy smokes. Look at this. Oh, oh it just came off. Well, you saw it on this camera. This is a big cab zone. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have tried to lift him. Should have just daffed him, but that's all right. All right, guys. It's going to wrap it up for today. Live octopus is where it's at if you can get it. It's, uh, they don't sell it in stores, and or at least not that I'm aware of, and uh, catching it's tough. But if you can get it, even dead octopus is, is good too. So anyways, that's gonna wrap it up. One link eye, one cabazon, which I should have landed, but you know, I was messing around over here. My bad. Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for today. We're kind of on a roll right now of like using different kinds of base. First we were using the eel. If you haven't checked out that one, check it out, I'll leave it linked below. Now we use octopus. Let me know what you want to see next. Other than that, check out my man, Outdoor Chef Life right here. We'll be putting together a video from today. I'll be looking forward to it. Until the next video, really appreciate you guys' view. Hope you guys are staying safe. And until the next video, thanks for watching.